Welcome aboard Blue Moon. I'm Jillian, and this is Jonas. We live aboard our 1978 Catalina 30 sailboat. Join us while we explore the West Coast by land and sea, while living in our tiny floating home. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching. Good morning, or at this point, good afternoon. I've been really, really busy this past week. It's just that time of year. Um, I've got like a million things to do. So I've been spending a lot of time on my laptop at the table and not much time sort of like doing fun things outside. But that being said, I have a lot of things to catch up on. I've got laundry, groceries, I need shower. So yeah, another little chore day. I feel like that's all we do on this boat. <laughs> It's also been so gorgeous, so I've been trying to get a lot of outside time, sort of taking breaks from my computer work. Yeah, so it's been good, but lots of things have been happening this week, so I haven't been doing much filming. But today is the day where we're going to go on an adventure to the facilities. It's going to be great. My chores done, did the laundry, I showered, I went grocery shopping, made myself an epic pita. Feels good. Feels very good. Um, I'm going to eat this and then I figured I would talk to you guys a little bit about how we shower. Anyway, gonna eat first.
long story short, as part of our live aboard amenities, we do have access to a facilities building, which is about a five minute walk up the road and that has laundry and showers. If you've seen some of our previous videos, we've shown you them a couple times. And yeah, that is how we do our laundry and that's how we shower. We've had a few comments about our shower setup in the head. And so we do have a nozzle that attaches to the sink and it's just like a shower head nozzle. We have never used that because it's set up as a wet bathroom, which is totally fine. Like I have no problem with that, but I would like to have some sort of system to block off the countertop area so all of our toiletries and stuff aren't getting wet. And also we do have limited water supply on the boat and it's just easier and more enjoyable to walk up to have a shower in a building than to like fill up our water tanks and then have a really quick shower and, um, yeah, we also have a hot water heater on the boat, so it is very doable and someday maybe I'll try it out, but we just haven't gotten around to it yet because we've been lucky enough to always have shower facilities nearby that we can use. So I'll show you our in-boat shower setup. Basically just behind this door, we have a shower nozzle, just like a typical nozzle and then a little mount on the wall just to keep it out of the way basically and then this comes all the way down to our sink and we have a little fitting for the tap and so if I were to push this this way it'll allow water to run through into the shower nozzle and then when this lever is down the water comes out like a normal tap and then how it would work is the bathroom basically just becomes a wet shower and it drains into our bilge through that hole and so we'd probably want to set up like a curtain or something um, to block off all of this just so our toiletries etc don't get wet and the other thing we need is also a drain like a little mesh thing to put in that drain so hair and I don't know, shower debris. Don't get down there and clog up that hole so it'll actually allow the shower to drain. But yeah, we have not used it yet, but I think it'll be really fun to get it going, especially the summer when things are a little warmer, easier to dry things, and yeah. So that is our setup. And that shower in the head does drain through the bilge and out the back <laughs> via the bilge pump. That's the system that this boat has. And yeah, so I can't really speak too much about the shower in our head because we have not used it. But I will talk about the showering facilities that we do use. I really like to tee up laundry with when I shower because it just saves me making a bunch of trips. So what I'll do is I'll pack up my shower bag, pack up my laundry bag. When I get to the facilities, I put the laundry in the washer that usually takes about 30 to 40 minutes and I just take my time in there so when I'm finished with that I can switch the load into the dryer before heading back to the boat. It just saves a trip or two. And then once I'm back on the boat I just set a timer for how long the dry cycle is going to be which is like I think it's like just under an hour and then I can just walk back and pick up the clothes. Whenever I'm doing laundry I just make sure that I'm here and I can sort of get it whenever it's done. There are only two washers and two dryers for the whole, our whole area of the marina. And so I just don't wanna be clogging up the washers and dryers basically. So that's what I did today. Kills two birds with one stone. It's my little system. That being said, I wanted to talk a little bit about the trade-offs about living on Blue Moon and the fact that we have to go to an external building to shower. And for the most part, it's really little. Like, I really don't mind using public or semi-public showering facilities. Obviously, with COVID, it's made it a little more difficult. It's not quite as comfortable as being able to walk into your own bathroom, which, you know, just you and your household has used. So that's sort of my main downside to it really and again you just come up with systems for it all 
Luckily, these facilities seem to be fairly well maintained. You know, at times we have walked in ready to shower and they're all being used. So we have to come back another time, which is just kind of an inconvenience. And just little things, again, like I really don't want to come across as complaining because I don't mind it at all. But just things like, you know, I have to wear flip-flops every time I shower. I don't have to, but I choose to wear flip-flops every time I shower. Sometimes they can be in clean. They are shared showers and it is a walk. So it's really not bad now, but I can tell you in the dead of winter when it was super cold and there were windstorms, I did not want to be walking to the showers. And then when I walked back, my hair would literally freeze. Um, again, not a problem. It's all good now. <laughs> Spring has come. I'm much more warm, but it is something that just like made it a little less comfortable. Like you couldn't really just, oh, I feel like having a shower, you know? And as far as I know, the facilities are only open between certain times. It's never impacted us, but it is something that happens. Um, yeah, personal bathrooms don't really close and these ones do. I'm actually really fortunate to have access to these facilities because I love that you get your own room. So there's four sort of rooms where you can close the door and lock the door, and they each have a toilet, a sink, and a shower. So I really love that. It's nice to have your own private little room where you can sort of hang up your towels and hang up your bags, and yeah, it's just, it's nice to have your own little space when you're showering. The other thing that like kind of annoys me sometimes Again, not a huge deal. It's a time shower. And so oh, the worst thing in the world is when the shower like clicks off because your time's up and you're like midway through rinsing your hair out or like you still have soap all over you. Um, that's gotten me a couple times. It's funny though, like I now am super aware of about how long the shower can take. And so I can usually guess when it's gonna turn off. Um, so that's kind of nice. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah, I, th I think that's all I really had to say. Just as a recap, we don't shower on the boat. It's easier and more enjoyable to shower in the facilities that are provided. But that being said, they are still public spaces and we have to share those. And at times, even if you want to shower, it might not be doable either because they're full or they're closed. Another thing that can kind of I don't know, get annoying sometimes, that we've found is that once we're done showering, we bring back our shower bags, we come onto the boat, and we have wet towels. And to dry those towels, we hang them up on the railings. Not even just towels, but you can see right now I've got um, some of my clothes drying. And in the summertime, it's really not going to be a big deal because we'll just be able to hang it on the line. It's just a wintertime thing when things are cold and damp already. And you don't really want to be drying your clothes and towels inside because it adds to the humidity in here and makes it feel colder. Those railings are in our kitchen and our dining area and it just gets a little crowded. Like, again, not a big deal. The towels dry overnight. We just hang them up, good to go. But we often have towels hanging up in the cabin. I'm definitely not trying to complain overall. I, it's just like part of my life now. Like I don't even think twice about how we shower and um, it's really cool because you find systems that work for you and yeah, it just becomes second nature. But yeah, I'm just reminiscing about what things are like. And I was thinking a lot about this today for some reason. I don't know why, maybe because I went to shower, but yeah, I just wanted to share it with you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm still getting used to shooting without Jonas here, but he will be making appearances very soon. And yeah, I will see you in our next video.